When solving a system of equations with three variables, you're going to take multiple steps to getting your answer. The first step is to decide which letter should I get rid of first. Now, I've color coordinated my work. I've given a black function, a green function, and a red function. I recommend that when you do these problems, you also use colors. They really help you organize your thoughts and make sure you don't make mistakes. By looking at this, you could say I could get rid of z very easily between these two functions because there's a positive 2z and a negative 2z. So you say let's pick the colors green and red. So x plus 4y plus 2z equals 16. And then you had your other function 15x plus 6y minus 2z equals 12. Now the rules work the same as regular systems of equations. You're just going to add this business together. This is 16x. This becomes 10y. These z's eliminated each other, which was great, and then you got 28. Now I'm going to highlight this part right here. This is very important. We need that for later. All right. You've picked the colors green and red. Now you've got to pick two other colors, either black and green, or black and red. And it doesn't really matter which combination you use, but you have to follow this rule. Whatever you eliminated before, you have to eliminate again. So I have to eliminate Z right now. And the reason for that is because I eliminated Z here. So I'm going to take the black function 2x plus y minus z equals 5 and then I'm going to take the green function x plus 4y plus 2z equals 16. Now as I said I have to eliminate z. I can't eliminate z because there's not a negative 2 here so we have to change what this function originally looks like. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this entire business and multiply it by 2. So I have to rewrite the equations. I've got 4x plus 2y minus 2z equals 10. The green function didn't have to change, so we leave it exactly the way it was. and then we add them like we always have. 5x, 6y, the z's cross out and you have 26. I'm also going to highlight this function right here because this is going to be very important and we need to use that for our next steps. Watch the next video and I will continue to show you how to answer the solution for this problem because you need to find x, y, and z.